Photo Explosion makes it easy to organize, edit, and enhance your digital photos. In this video tutorial, I'll give you an overview of Photo Explosion's basic features so you can quickly get started editing and enhancing your own photos. When you first launch Photo Explosion, you'll see the welcome screen. From here, you can customize where Photo Explosion searches for photos on your computer and online, as well as view the video tutorial and open the online user guide. Let's start by adding some photos. By default, Photo Explosion will scan your picture's library. You can also set Photo Explosion to include or exclude its scan for other folders on your computer. Photo Explosion can also look for photos in online services, including Facebook, Flickr, and Picasa. Click these buttons to easily set up the connection to your accounts so you can browse your online galleries from right within Photo Explosion. Photo Explosion lets you organize photos several different ways. First, you can use the catalog to simply browse photos that are on your computer or online. Scroll to move through your collection. By clicking here, I can view the photos I've uploaded to Facebook. Click to select a photo and all sorts of details on the photo will appear on the top. To rate a photo, just click on the stars. You can type in keyword tags to help sort photos and organize similar photos into collections. A second way to browse your photo collection is searching by the date the photo was taken. Most cameras automatically save this information with your photos and Photo Explosion can automatically organize your photos using this information. The photos in my library are grouped by the days they were taken. Use the calendar on the sidebar to quickly jump any given year, month, and date. This slider lets you change the size of the thumbnails. A third way to browse your photos is by keyword tags. These are all the photos with the tag family. Here is the photo I tagged earlier with the tag Prague. The fourth and final way to browse your photos is by ratings. All my five star photos are here. As I scroll down, my lower rated photos appear. You can quickly sort your photos using the sidebar. Click here to view all the tags you have created. Click on a tag to instantly see all the photos with that tag. Click on the ratings to only view photos with certain ratings. To access help, click here. You'll find links to online help, support, the video tutorial, and the user guide. In the next part of this tutorial, we are going to fix a photo flaw and add a special effect to it. To open a photo in edit mode, just mouse over to it. You'll notice a pop-up preview appears when you mouse over a photo. Double-click the photo you want to edit. In edit mode, the top toolbar gives you access to adjustments, effects, special effects, text, and paint and draw tools. Below, you'll find a variety of selection and edit tools. We'll use this zoom slider to get a closer look at the photo.
Let's use the red eye tool to eliminate red eye. The slider lets us select the pupil size. Click on the eyes. Then click apply to save the fix. This photo's background is pretty bland and we can use an artistic effect to make it more interesting. You can apply special effects three different ways. To the entire photo, to a selection of the photo, or by using a brush to paint on the special effects. Let's start with the brush. Use the slider to select the brush size. Then just paint on the image. Clouds now appear wherever we paint. This isn't very precise, so I'm going to show you another way. Let's undo. Then use the magic wand to just select the background. Now let's apply the effect to the selection. That's much better. To return to the Organize mode, just click on the Organize tab. That concludes our introduction to Photo Explosion. Now you're ready to start exploring Photo Explosion and begin organizing, editing, and enhancing your own photos.